getting some crowd funds in this week. Hey, this is John Delarose, Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. And I got in Impossible Stars from your boy, Zach, uh, this week. And so I wanted to give you a quick review of this. Uh, the cover is really uh, not the best. There's not much to it. Uh, and you get some Meyer Dixon Rodriguez here. Uh, and the back is just like a little sort of summary sort of thing. It also came with a like preview single issue of like a Nexus story, uh, which is a to be continued. Uh, so it's, you really don't get a full experience with this, but it is nice to have this. I actually mostly kind of back this because I was going to get the Nexus thing and I'm really am a big fan of Nexus sci-fi books. So I figured, uh, I would grab this because of that. Chuck Dixon also scripted this, which was a, uh, a plus for me, and I like Renzo Rodriguez's art. So I was like, okay, let's check this out. Now, there's a lot of intro to this. This is like a 48-ish page book, I think. Um, and it's just like lots of intro about stars and wanting to explore the stars, and they, they give the history of like how they humanity went out there, and uh, like twice. Uh, and so it's a little bit confusing because you get this whole groups of different characters through, through these like four different introductions uh, before you even get into the story. And uh, basically, aliens have sh fired a big warning shot, which killed millions of people, saying, hey, don't you come out here to the stars. Uh, and so uh, a dude decides to steal the spaceship anyway, which, uh, which gets a little confusing. It doesn't get shown all that well, uh, even though they're kind of talking about it. It's not clear uh, exactly what's going on. And that's th kind of similar with the intros. I'm just not clear where things are going from here. This guy then gets hired uh, in a little cheesecake scene here uh, by the military to go stop them. Uh, and so they take a second ship, which is, again, not all that clear what's going on, whether, you know, uh, to go stop them from taking off. Uh, and you get a secondary crew. So you've got a zillion characters, and the only one that really gets some great development are really that guy... Uh, the cheesecake guy, because you get to learn a bit about, about his military background, and then the black guy here. And it, apparently there's something wrong with his daughter, and I don't know what that has to do with this. Uh, it doesn't really resolve. So it's kind of like a hmm. But they eventually take off, and at this point, the story really starts, like, here-ish, uh, after all. This is all introduction from this point. Uh, and then from this point, they all uh, kind of get together, and they catch up. And he's a little too late in stopping them. Some people die. Uh, and then the dude who is sent to stop them decides to go out and, like, kind of complete the mission after after kind of killing everybody. It was kind of weird. Uh, and so uh, black dude dies. I guess we don't find out what happens to his daughter or whatever. Uh, and then they take off, hit to light speed, and there's a, there's a bunch of other ships. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think the figures are pretty good. I like uh, Renzo Rodriguez's art okay. Um, it's it's pretty decent. I think I think uh, the people look nice overall. Um, and there's a little bit of inconsistency. I'd say you can see like the face is a little more uh, chiseled and masculine here. It's a little rounder here, even though it's just one page apart. Uh, same character. So those sorts of things uh, are through this. There's there's some inconsistencies through the art, uh, but it is it is uh, most mostly good figures and things like that. The designs of the spaceship because like there were so many similarities to those things. Like I couldn't really tell what was what in certain aspects. Uh, I guess these are supposed to be aliens, but you know it doesn't look all that inhuman. So I just don't I just don't feel what's going on here and don't quite understand it. So it's kind of a weird spot to end on things too. Overall, just because, like, there was so much introduction, I kind of had to reread the introduction three or four times to really understand what was going on later, because it wasn't written all that clearly. Um, made it a little tough uh, to care about this book. It was paced all right uh, once it actually got going. Uh, but, you know, uh, I don't know. At the end of the day, I, I didn't love this book all that much. I thought there, there could have been a little more to it. Uh, than just a spaceship chase after all they set up there. Um, so didn't really learn enough to, to care much. I don't know that I'd back volume two at this point. Uh, tough story. Uh, I don't I don't get it because uh, I've read a lot of Chuck Dixon work. It didn't feel like Chuck Dixon wrote this, um, which is kind of odd to me. So I'd, I'd call this a six out of 10, unfortunately. 
Now, Nexus uh, had a pretty cool story. Beautiful Kelsey Shannon art. Uh, very fun. I love the, the bright colors and all this. Look at these little cool ninjas. Uh, nice action shot right there. Kelsey Shannon does an incredible job. Nexus is chasing after these, like, kids who are psychically linked. And they uh, their powers are being trying to be abused by some uh, evil corporate people. And, uh, and Nexus is hunting them down and rescuing them. Now, uh, they don't get all the way rescued through this. It's, it's very short, so I'm not going to go too much into it. Uh, you know, gosh, I just, like, look at those eyes. Like, I, this is very simple of a drawing. But Kelsey Shannon just does a beautiful job, and I just love stuff like this. This just this conveys emotion right here, even though it, even though it's not like heavily heavily detailed line art. Uh, the emotions what's what matters for things, and that's really good right there. Anyway, uh, enjoyed this. this is a good start, and I hope to see more of it. I'd call it an eight out of ten for now, just because I don't really know where it's going yet. Uh, I'll you know if the next campaign has the next installment, I'll probably back it just for this. To be honest, all right. Uh, let me know what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll be back soon.